This video is specifically about my latest firearm, the Bursa Thunder 9 Pro. Now it also has HC somewhere in the high capacity because it holds a 17 round 9mm magazine. But one of the great things I like about this gun is one, the ambidextrous slide lock or slide release, however you want to put it. The ambidextrous safety plus the cocker, all in one. Now this also makes there is a safety because the trigger does not react whatsoever when it's engaged. What this safety also does is lock the slide. So the slide will not move. It's got decent sights, as you can see. Well, can't really see, but oh well. Plus, the loaded chamber indicator is on top. Let's see here. Yeah, you can sort of see it right there. Um, it's honestly just behind the thing. Hard to tell, I guess. But it's not the extractor. It's just something that pops up in the middle of the gun. Maybe this will make it easier. See how it's that little neck there that's kind of popped up a little bit? Yeah, you'll get the idea. But it pops up. It actually pops up in line with the sights. So that's kind of cool. And everything's ambidextrous. I've also been told you can reverse the magazine release. So it's on the left side, well, or for left hand people. I have not been able to find a video on this. If you do, let me know. And when it comes to holsters, now I do own a Glock 23 and 19. A holster for that actually does fit it to a point. Unfortunately, it's not a safe point. Because, well, this right here on the gun digs into my back. Didn't realize that until I started carrying it in this holster. So that's pretty much out of the question. The other holster I have, which I've got before I got any good holsters, was this generic one. It does work, but I never liked using it because it's not very comfortable. And then this one, which not the best thing to put in, but again, it does work. It's a Serpa locking holster for Glock 23, but it does, in fact, lock it in. It does actually hold it. When I'm wearing it, you cannot yank it out. Well, for as much trouble as I try to, it wouldn't work. See, what I'm not crazy about it is the back end does hit the ambidextrous magazine release. Yep. On this side, it actually has a notch for it. It does hold at least and have open carry with this holster but it's not 100% designed for this gun. But it's very nice firearm, holds 17 rounds. Plan on getting a third magazine because I usually carry two backup magazines. The sights are great on it. I mean, this thing comes apart very easily. This little thing right here. You flip it down. Magazine comes to her. The slide comes right off. Pull out the recoil spring, and unlike the Bursa 380, this one's not a fixed barrel. Slide it back in there, put the spring back in here, and then put it in the little groove they have in there. And then to put it back on, you just simply, as usual, match it up. Okay, apparently I fucked something up. Now, it's off to the side a bit. Let me show that again. Yep. Push it back a little bit. Put it back up. And it's pretty simple. And you do a little check. Make sure everything lined up. It did. And then decocker slash safety, which again disables the trigger and the slide. Tells decocker. Well, and a safety because it did lock it, but 
there's double action and then there's single action and it's safe to check this thing before I became on video so none of that crap I mean like I said if, you can, if anybody can find a video where I can reverse this magazine release let me know and if you could find a place that actually has a holster for this thing let me know most of the places I found only have it for the ultimate compact as they call it the 13 plus one round now I'll do a quick size comparison of this one versus the other Bursa I have. Now the other Bursa, this is the Pro 9 and then this is the 380. As you can see, a bit of a size difference between, yeah, most gun people are not going to know that without me doing this, but yeah, that's the difference in the 380 and then 9mm. Now this they both have basically the same features except for there's no ambidextrous on this one and this one requires the magazine to be in in order for it to fire unless you want to stick your finger in there and push up the little lever which I doubt anybody wants to do but yeah perfect guns has all the features I've been looking for for a while so let's reload it back up safety on you know, whenever the gun's at home, I always have the safety on. When I leave the house, I holster it and then take the safety off. I never have the safety on while I'm out there. Because for some reason, I had to actually use the firearm. That split second, I have to pull it. I'm not going to want to have to remember that my safety may not be on. And I don't want to worry about that. Because honestly, those cup, that half a second between you pulling the gun, having hit that safety, and then finding your target is pretty much death. I have no problem with people who use a safety. I mean, if they have worked it out to the point where they can actually fire on time, great for them. But I don't have enough trust my finger to do that in a hostile situation in order to save my life for the people around me. Oh, another little beauty about it, since it did not come with the little laser that this thing comes with. Yeah, you can see it blinking in the gun. This thing actually has the rail to hold a light. Oh, a light. A light or you know laser sight which I probably won't get but I love the gun just the way it is it's a nice ass firearm and since it's called the Thunder 9 Pro or first it's Thunder 9 Pro but yeah I have four firearms this is gonna be my last firearm for a long time so I managed to get employed and I might start hitting the rifles Anyways, that's about it. If you have any questions or any comments about how I screwed this up, let me know. Anyways, have a nice day. Only we can end unarmed victim zones.